Okay, so today we're going to talk about things that interest us. Oh, I thought we were going to talk about... Wait. What? Oh, conventions! Vacation. Exactly! Things that interest us, like conventions. What about uh, the... Vacations. Okay. okay, all right. Yes, I can do that. Okay, uh, uh, we put up a video of our trip last year to Spain and England. Well, to Spain. Spain. Um, but we also went to England. Yes, to see some family. We went to see family and uh, it was actually a, a trip, but um, it was to do with something else. But anyway, we went to England and we got to see London. Again, I have, uh, I was born in London, so... Um, Kensington! Kensington, now yes. you know. Everywhere. Uh, <laughs> And um, Holly hadn't been back uh, since she was two, so um, and she wouldn't have even remembered <laughs> London anyway. So we went to London last year and uh, went to see a lot beautiful. of very famous sites. We went to see the uh, Houses of Parliament and yes. went to see 10 Downing Street. Well, we saw the outside of 10 Downing Street yes. because it was all blocked off, off now with the big gates and stuff and police. We went to see Trafalgar Square. We and saw a guard yelling at people. He didn't like people being around him, and these kids were... I mean, I swear I heard his voice, like, crack by how much... <laughs> I think he was going, going to cry. <laughs> you know why you brought me? <laughs> these little kids were scaring him. It's not like somebody was touching him. They were just trying to make him react, and he started screaming at them. I've never, ever seen that happen before. No. Um, we also went to... Um, what was that place? What was some... Was it... Outside the um, some no, it wasn't a museum. It was the art place. I don't remember. It was the one with the bottle with the oh, the, the ship in it. Yes. What was that called? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I could look it up, but I'm not going to. But anyway, we went uh, there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we also went uh, and saw the London Eye, but we saw the lines outside. Oh, the huge. line was just whoa. whoa! It was miles long. So we looked at it. I took some really good pictures. Maybe I'll put in some pictures at the end of um, the London Eye because it was really, I got some really good pictures of that. Ooh. You know what, I might add some pictures at the end, um, add Absolutely. some little, yes. Um, in Malaga, which is the Spain place, um, I took some really good pictures of this dragonfly who was very keen to being in front of a camera. So I got some really... I might add that at the end as well. Yes, it was a really nice picture. Yeah, yeah. a beautiful picture. And it was right, it was red dragonflies, how many do you see of those? I think I saw a green one the other day. Mm. So. They're usually black, aren't they? Mm. What colour are dragonflies? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway, can look this up. It was, um, it was an interesting trip um, and we walked for hours and hours. Oh, we also went to the London Dungeon. Yes, and we did. I had been there once many years ago before we left England and the London Dungeon was um, very different this time. It was, first of all, it was expensive to get in and there were six of us, so it wasn't cheap for the, all of us, um, obviously. And the wait outside was probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. um, and we got in there and uh, we all got in together, obviously. We had a picture taken, you know, the obligatory picture. And then we got inside and it was quite a long, I mean, it was worth the money and it was worth the wait because it wasn't like over in five minutes like it used to be in the past they with, had with great, somebody um, pretending to be a wax figure and jumping out at you. Yeah, there was this great part where we were on the stropping machine. And they took a horrible funny. picture, but it was, yeah, we, we <laughs> had, <laughs> um, but we uh, were on this thing and uh, we were raised and raised and raised and swinging our legs, but that was, uh, that was pretty cool, that was an inside a building, that was a pretty cool thing for inside uh, a building, like that London, London dungeon. Um, they also had all these sets where you saw all the torturous things that used to happen in the old yes, days. They even took England. some uh, people up there. <laughs> there was this one part where I was, um, we went with my two cousins, um, and I was I walked up to my cousin and I was like, I'm <laughs> oh like blah blah blah. It wasn't and, her cousin. And then I looked around, and, and this woman whose arm I and I, I think I'd even touched her bum. Um, <laughs> she didn't react in any way. I looked at her and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my cousin. And the woman running the tour was like. When you're quite finished, I'm like, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I thought I was, I've just been hugging this company. Everyone was laughing at her. Everybody was laughing at She's me. She's a fool. And it wasn't, <laughs> it was, 
it was funny. I was mortified because I had touched this woman's ass and I had my arm around you her. Did not tell me that part. Oh. And it was nobody I knew. She probably thought I was making a pass at her. <laughs> she probably was like all excited. <laughs> anyway, but um, then this other bit in the London dungeon when uh, my cousin was um, standing at the edge. She's really highly strung, and she's standing at the edge, and then. Jack the Rip. <laughs> His cape touched her His and she cape. screamed. Yes, she screamed because this cape touched her and she thought, you know, 180 years later or whatever it is, Jack the Ripper was back just to get her. <laughs> he but wasn't. then he actually came out with the knife and she screamed again. Yes, and he was actually part of the enactment with trying to stab somebody else, not her. Mm. But she still screamed. Uh, there was also the part where we were going through the maze of mirrors. And, and she uh, screamed. <laughs> she screamed when the guy who was running the tour, uh, he he was just like, he opened a door that was a mirror, and she screamed. Yes, because a wall that had been there, or a mirror wall that had been there, was no longer the wall. It was a person. Yeah, it was a person. Yeah. So she was quite funny to um, take anywhere. Actually, mm. it was quite embarrassing. More embarrassing than uh, Billy's you. friend. Hey, I'm Billy's friend. <laughs> I'll see you. So. Yes. Anyway, so that was pretty interesting. And then uh, there was an incident where Oliver got lost, which we won't go into. Uh, and then um, the saw. tube. Going in the tube was interesting because if you've seen um, American Werewolf in London and you've seen the scene where the werewolf is at the bottom of this really, really long escalator, um, I made the children turn around when we were going down. I think we were going down or we were going back up. Anyway, uh, we were on the escalator and we were at the top and uh, I said, um, you've got to see this. And then after we got back, uh, I made them see that scene out of um, American Werewolf. Yes. She also got yelled at by the train conductor guy. For taking photos. For taking photos. In the And, and they, they put it towards you too. And <laughs> yes, they took specifically uh, said it just for you. Yes. Because you were the only one. Mm-hmm. You, it, you know, it's a touristy thing to do, isn't it? But you, you don't do that. <laughs> you just don't. <laughs> Who knew? Did you? Everyone know? except for you. But did you know that? No. I assumed. You assumed. <laughs> okay, so that was that. And then we also got to eat at the curry house because we haven't eaten at the curry house. Oh, we went bowling time. with Pete. We went bowling. We got lost. They lost us, remember? Yes. We were in Yolanda's car. Who was I with? You were with Oliver and Manny. No, she wasn't with us. You sure? Yes, she didn't go bowling with us. No, no, I meant like when we were getting out of the airport. I thought that's what you were. Oh talking. no, no, I was talking about when we went bowling. You were in, in me uh, in the car with me, with Billy and Oliver. And oh yeah, and, yeah, they, yeah, and yeah. they took off, and then and there we... was this a uh, little booth thing where you were supposed to type in this number or something. Yes, and because it was we a membership were stuck place. There. And they just went off without us because yes. it's just like, mm. well, who cares about them? We're just going to get a curry and they can just starve. Yes. But that was very nice curry. Yes, it was. If you ever go uh, anywhere, have a curry, um, an Indian curry, and, and as in Indian, you know, like from India. Um, there's some very good curries and also uh, from Bangladesh and Pakistan and that kind of place. There's also some places that do... do um, curries that are in North Africa as well. But anyway, uh, we went and had curry and it was brilliant. And since uh, that's part of my culture, um, uh, uh, as is Spanish, uh, it was really nice to actually go. And England has a huge amount of Indian restaurants and mo a lot of them are very good. Um, we found one here in, in um, the States, um, in Virginia, that is pretty good, but <laughs> it's a choice of one. So. Not much of a choice. Holly's now playing a game. Dragon Veil. <laughs> oh, I just uh, discovered a game um, that I saw on YouTube. It's and been around for a while. <laughs> it's been around for a while, but I had never played it. And it is Plants vs. Zombies. It's really easy. Yes, it is. Have you played it? No, I haven't, but I've watched Oliver play it, and if he can do it, Anyone he says right it gets mind. hard at some point, but I'm waiting for it to get hard. It's quite easy. I don't mm -hmm. see how it can be hard. But you know, I haven't. I'm just about to get to the night scenes again. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing it on the iPod, but unfortunately, it crashes. So um, Oliver's loaned me his um, DSiXL, and uh, I've been playing on that, and it's 
it's quite easy. I don't. I haven't played games in ages, so they usually play uh, together. They play um, Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I also got that for the iPod because I'm supposed to be going away um, to Gay Omelet and um, DRL. Yes, and I've got some games to play for that, um, which includes the Zombies one, which is no longer working, um, and also Siegecraft, a few hidden object games, and. I'm also going, uh, contemplating taking my weights like I did to Spain last year and England. Yeah, and then we had to uh, make sure the suitcases were weren't too heavy because of my weights. But you know what? I'd rather take that than clothes and shoes. <laughs> she has like 20 pairs of shoes that she doesn't wear. I've got more than 20 pairs of shoes I don't wear. I have maybe three. And you wear them. All the time. <laughs> but the thing oh, is, well, well, yours are comfortable. Mine, mine are platforms because I'm short as you can probably tell because I'm shorter than my even than my daughter and I have platforms that I wear I don't wear them in the house but um but I like to wear shoes that give me height so I'm going to be taking some very um high shoes I have two pairs of Converse a pair of DC shoes and flat shoes you've also got those very high the, shoes the high you. heels that's five pairs of shoes I've offered to buy you more high shoes. I don't like girls. What about the big yeah. uh, thigh high boots that you don't like? Oh, I gave them to you, so I don't know. I don't want. I, I would never wear flats. I've gotten my platform thigh highs. Yeah, they they don't look so good. <laughs> okay, so. Um, oh, I was talking about my shoes, not you. Oh, you like my ones? No. <laughs> well, then. I was just making sure you knew. I we didn't went like mine too. to um, to this um, ceremony for Holly uh, and my husband and uh, for Taekwondo oh. and I was wearing <laughs> the shoes. ugliest shoes I've ever seen and everybody because everybody takes their shoes off and I, you know why should I um, take off five inches of height so I kept my shoes on and um, everybody was looking down at my feet the whole time because I was wearing these lime I mean green. I was across uh, all the way the other <laughs> end of the, the dojo and um, <laughs> I was just staring at your feet because they're such an ugly. <laughs> they were lime green. They have a, they're like um, Mary Jane lime green platforms uh, with an inch at the front, ugly. and they have a little bow at the side. Really ugly. <laughs> Shut up! And they were so cool, and everyone was looking at my feet like I was. Because they freak. were ugly. <laughs> I might be taking them with me. Ew. <laughs> okay, I think we should finish up now. Oh, I wanted to talk about something else. Oh, go, go on then. But what? If no, go on. No. I'll add the pictures at the end, just a couple of seconds. No, we'll pictures. just keep talking about England and Malaga. You know, swimming is a great way to be in shape. I found out. Treadmilling. Shut up. Lifting weights. But if you swim in a pool every day, I mean, not only do you get one heck of a tan, but you also get, like, really nice and fit. Yes. So, I don't know. Holly needs to get fit, she thinks. Yeah. Well, last year after we got back, um, she was actually going on the bike every time I went on the treadmill, and um, but I found my priorities, which is um, <laughs> which are da <laughs> which are dance and um, karate. So, but now you're saying you want to get fit again or something? Yeah. No. All right. Well. Um, that's going to be the it f for this one, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments below, um, oh. and thumbs up if you like it. Please try not to be rude, um, and subscribe to us if you want to see some more. And I know I look old. And give us some suggestions Ow, if you can think of anything else. Um, I'm, I'm going to be making some lip balms at some point. It's really easy to do, and it saves you money. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of cookery stuff, and Holly's probably going to do some wig care at some point because she's I'm going really to be talking about anime. I really want to talk about my Katsukan and my Otakan and my Anime USA. Okay, we'll do that. All right, well, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you soon. Bye.